here is the About Me Google Slide introduction of yourself to the class. Over at Canvas, there is a link for the Google Slide for your class. In this example, it's for the forensics class, but you will just click on the link. It opens up your class's Google file for every student in the class. Just select one of these blank slides by tapping on the thumbnail, and then you are going to create the Google slide that looks similar to this. So I gave you an example where you're going to put your name at the top, add one or more pictures. It's great to have a picture of yourself. Put some interest of yourself in there. You can uh, say your interest in words. You can say it in pictures. It's really up to you how you want to build out your slide. So this exercise is twofold for you to share your information about yourself, obviously the name of the, the assignment, and number two, to get familiar with working in a collaborative document, which we will do often during class. So click on your slide, which is not used yet, and uh, just put your name up here at the top. You can change the format of your slide if you would like. You could choose one of the templates over here if you want, but you know, it's just easy to start with a blank slate. You can even delete this text placeholder here. You can move it around. Uh, you, can sp you can spin things if you'd like. And um, on my slide, I did delete it. If you want to add a picture, you will go over here to Insert and an image and uh, this is Google so if it says photos that would be a Google photo so if it's on your computer or on your iPad you will do upload from computer and you will go into your photo library and you would choose like a picture you can change the size of it here when you import it as well as when you have it. Uh, so this came in crooked. I'm going to grab that. And if you want to keep it at an angle, you can. If you want to format this, there are format options. So maybe the size isn't quite right. You can change the size from here. But if you grab the right thumbnail then or edge of that, you can easily kind of move move things to the size that you want. So that's possible if you grab the top right or the bottom left, it, it resizes. Um, looks like all four corners, but not, not the sides. The sides is gonna lose the aspect ratio. So if you know some weird things happen, um, it's because you're grabbing the wrong corner. But you can also do it from the format options up here. So it didn't lock the aspect ratio. Um, when I was grabbing the side, so be careful of that. You can also change your background if you'd like. So that was under format up at the top. You can format the uh, borders. I'm not selected on my picture uh, right now or, or just the general slide. I'm selected into an, um, an item, so be careful if you're selecting a text box or a picture. Your format menu is going to change. Um, I can go over here to the slide and it was change background. If you want to add an image for your background, you can change the entire color of your background if you want to do that. Then you can modify the color of your text. So if you look back over here, I added a gradient of blue and white. I changed the text box to be a blue background with white text. And on one picture, I even had a shadow, um, but that's not showing up too well because of the blue background, but it is right here along this edge. It's darker blue than it is over on this side. So I just wanted to give you just a quick uh, idea of how to use Google Slides. I was going to 
give you a YouTube video on this, but if you want more information, go check it out yourself. It, it got a little long, so I wanted to keep this short for you and give you some basics. Be careful of changing the theme. If you click on the theme uh, and, and try to change something, it, it's going to change it for everyone. So don't do anything that is going to change the global settings. So we are on simple light. So keep it at that theme. Also, if you're doing transitions, um, that's a transition from slide to slide. So stay away from that. But you can do transitions of different elements inside of your slide. And that's, that's quite okay. But please avoid changing things for your slide that affect everyone else. So... That's it. Um, keep it simple, but have fun with it. Remember, this is also an exercise in getting familiar with Google Slides, so put some effort into learning it if you are unfamiliar with it. Have fun with it, too, and, and share information uh, with us about yourself. Thank you.